Hello again, this is going to be a collection video. This is going to be my entire collection of the Victorinox Alox that I have. Now this is by no means all the Victorinox Alox models there is. There is far more and there's far many more colours. A lot of them are discontinued, some of them are rare. A lot of them are rare. Hard to find and some of them are hell of expensive. Some of the Alox models get to some funny prices. I'm pretty sure some of them goes right up past the hundred pounds. Uh, I recall seeing one model. I think it was called the Black Beauty. I was referred to as it was one of the old crosses. It was a black Swiss Army knife. I'm sure. I'm sure those were going for as much as five hundred pounds. To be honest with you, I don't really know too much about the more collectible ones. I quite like the standard ones, as well as these colourful ones here. We'll get to that just shortly. So I'll just start off this video by, well, I'll essentially just go through each model and tell you a little bit about it. We'll start here because this is the first one that I got. Now, what makes these, well, I suppose we should, I should explain what I mean by Alox for people who may be new to this. The Alox just refers to the, the handle scales, the covers, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this part here, this is the Alox. I think that just means aluminium oxide, that's just the handle material. Now, opposed to something like this, this is a Victorinox uh, compact, this is what we mean by Celador. It's this sort of modern plastic, uh, usually quite shiny, also quite attractive, but as you can see it scratches quite easily. You cannot see the pins on this, although it does have pins uh, holding it together. Whereas the Alox models, you can see the pins here, here, and here. Of course, that um, Victorinox shield is quite attractive against that silver background and it is textured. Uh, the Alox models are usually meant to be, or at least the, the 90, 93mm, I think this is. Either that or it's 94. I'm going to get in trouble because I've forgotten. Someone's going to tell me off in the comments. Um, I should have said the bigger ones are 93 or 94, I'm sorry, I can't quite remember. The medium sized ones here and here and here are 84 millimeters and the smallest are 58 millimeters. But um, this is the Victorinox Farmer. Now, most the Alox models have a plate on the back uh, molded in to the handle scales for engraving. We'll have a look at that later on. Uh, most of the 93 millimeter uh, Alox models. Pretty much have the same tool set with slight variations. So we'll just have a look at the tool set on the farmer. And by the way, I'll just get out of the way before I forget. On the cell door models, most of them have what we call scale tools. Uh, they have tweezers and a toothpick. And some of them have what's called plus scales, which this one does, which also has a ballpoint pen. The Alox models do not, nor do they have back glare tools such as a corkscrew. With that out of the way, let's have a look at the tool set and it's got a key ring like most of them. So the opening layer, can opener, screwdriver, bottle opener, screwdriver, wire bender, the farmer has a wood saw, but the other models usually don't. I'll get to that just shortly. And your main blade, which these are these are definitely geared towards being more of a working knife because they've got a thicker blade. I'll just show you that just now. Put that ballpoint pen away properly, I think. You can see there that the Alox model has a thicker blade, although I'm sure the blade length is about the same or just a touch bigger. And uh, these are not officer's knives. Whereas if we look at the cell door models, it usually says officier officier cease. This does not. And the final tool on this is an awl. Now, the reason I wanted to show you this is because Several of these models have that same tool set. So this is 
my Pioneer X. Uh, this one was highly sought after for quite a while. I mean, Victorian Ox took ages to to get their finger out and actually make this model. The, the farmer's been around for God knows how long. The Pioneer X only came out within the last four or five years or so. So this is quite a new model. So the, the Pioneer X has the exact same tool set as the Farmer, except it does not have a wood saw. And in replace of the wood saw, we have scissors. I'll get that out of the way. Speaking of which, this is just a standard Pioneer. Now, you get this in many different colours, but you usually just get it in the standard silver, like the rest of these other knives. Um, this is a special edition. Not a limited edition, a special edition. This one is from Knives and Tools, which is a European uh, knife distributor, if you like. Of course, they ship to the UK. They pretty much ship all over the world. Uh, these colourful ones are usually exclusives or special to whatever website that's selling them. I'm sure there's plenty of sites in America that sell these in this colour, but for the most part, you're usually just going to find them in silver. So this, this one is from Knives and Tools. Remember I was talking about that plate before? So this has got the exact same tool set, except it doesn't have that extra tool. It's just got the can opener, bottle opener, knife and all. Did I show you all? I don't remember. Okay, what else do we have? Now this is also a Pioneer. This is the exact same thing as this. Not a difference, except the colour. This is in violet, of course, purple, what do you want to call that? What makes this one different? as it's a limited edition. These were made for 2016, so these were made throughout the year of 2016, then discontinued. Now, they started doing these models in 2015, and so far the 2015 models are the most valuable, because I think that's when, like I said, that's when they started. The first colour they came out with was Midnight Blue, not too dissimilar to this one. Unfortunately, I do not have that set. They're still continuing up to now, um, they've actually just released the 2021 edition, which is Aqua Blue, which is quite attractive, but um, I don't have any other years other than 2016. By the way, I've been looking at the 2015 editions on eBay, where I could find them, and uh, you're talking about £100 each for those now. Uh, these purple ones will probably follow suit at some point, not quite in the near future, Maybe in a few years, the price of these will climb. Uh, I don't actually use these because the, the colour rubs off fairly easily over the years in your pocket. And to me, this is purely for my collection. I'm never going to use them. They just sit in my cabinet, which is why these are open. I like to keep them in this open position while it's in my carpet, eh, carpet cabinet for display purposes on top of their original boxes. Speaking of these purple ones, I may as well show you the other two now. This one is the Cadet, which is an 84mm. Uh, far thinner than the Pioneer. I'll just compare it against the... Whoops. Just compare it against the Pioneer. So you can see it's actually shorter, but it's also thicker. So this has got a very similar tool set to the Pioneer, but it's all around smaller. And instead of having an awl, we have a nail file and nail cleaner. Now, this is, again, the same model, but this is the standard silver. Give you a better look at that knife now, because I'm not too bothered about this one. The purple ones I'm kind of funny about, I want to keep them... In the best possible condition I can for when they inevitably do become quite valuable and I'll just again compare that against Pioneer so you can see that the Cadet has a much much thinner blade so it won't be as strong but it'll be a lot more slicey and while we're at it standard 91mm compact again
The final purple one that I have here, again, a 2016. The Cadet is also a 2016 model. This is the Classic SD. Now, the difference between the Classic and the Classic SD is the Classic does not have a screwdriver. The SD stands for screwdriver. It took me quite a while before I worked that one out. Here's the screwdriver right here. So you can see this has got a very basic tool set. This is a keychain model, but there's no, in, no way in hell would I put this on my keys because it would get scratched up and uh, the finish removed quite quick. All we have here is a small pen blade, nail file, uh, screwdriver and scissors. Another classic SD. This one is not a limited edition, but it's a knives and tools special edition. So this one I do plan on, I do plan on using at some point. I'm never gonna sell this one because it was a gift from my girlfriend. So I don't feel so bad about actually using this one. Some of you collectors out there will know where I'm coming from with that. I fully understand that some people love to actually carry and use these and use them hard and properly as they are tools. Yeah, I understand that they most definitely are tools and that's what they're for, but some people just like to collect them. And let's be honest, how many knives can you use and carry at one time? I mean, I've got so many other knives I could use and carry. Um, I like to keep the special ones in good condition in the, cab in the cabinet. By the way, Knives and Tools offers five different colours. That lim uh, sorry, not limited edition, the special edition blue that you just saw there. Uh, this green, red, black. Did I see them all? I've forgotten one. Probably said them all. Good at getting mixed up, ain't I? This here is the Victorinox Mini Champ. Quite similar to the classic SD or classic. Same size, both 58mm with four pins holding it together. This is just a standard Alox, by the way, you get this in the red cell door as well. This one has Victorinox engraved on it, I didn't actually notice that uh, until now. But this is just a, a thicker version of the SD with more tools. So we've got the same tool set plus more. Got the scissors, which are excellent. The small pen blade. And if I could find it, which I probably won't be able to, where is it? Okay, let's see how long this takes. Well, you can see they're the same little screwdriver tip. But that's actually a ruler. Get to that later one. Well, anyway, it does have that file on there. So let's just take all the tools out. We've got a cuticle pusher, or the coke spoon, as some people like to call it. We've got that screwdriver with a ruler for whatever that's worth. I think that would be more useful as a depth depth gauge than an actual ruler. An all in, an orange peeler, which is a kind of a strange device. I mean, there's two knives on this. Why you need a separate orange peeler? Uh, I, I do not know, but I suppose that would also make a good box opener. What they call an emergency blade, which is interesting, and I haven't really seen this on any other Swiss Army knife. It's just a little warning cliff, but it's a nice addition. And there's that nail cleaner uh, slash nail file that I was looking for on the other side. Here's those scissors again. Bottle opener screwdriver. And there's that main blade. Uh, this clip doesn't come with that. I bought that myself and put it on there. And the final Alox that I have, and by far my least favourite, is the Bantam. Another little 84. You know what, let me just double check that against the cadet because it might not be, it might be an 83. 
whatever is close. Vacnum only has the blade, same blade as the Cadet, and the combo tool, like what you see on the compact. This is a can opener, bottle opener, screwdriver, and wire bender. So that's it. That's my entire Alloc collection. I just thought I would share that with you. I do want to do more collection videos. I've already filmed one or two. More on the way, as well as single knife videos and pretty much anything else you'd like to, you'd like to suggest. So that'll be that. Thanks for watching.